everybody, it's Dizzy and I have been doing a little bit of shopping at NYX. I thought it might be fun to do kind of a swatch fest of the colors that I've picked up from them. Some of them are new to their line, some of them are just new to me. Um, I've shown a couple of them in hauls, but for the most part, the things I've gotten over the last month or so, I have some... Um, high voltage, I have um, a few, a one liquid lingerie, um, a couple of the suede, lip suede, uh, some of the couple butter glosses, and a couple of the soft matte lip creams, and then one of the new plush gel lipstick. I'm playing around with lighting. I just got a ring light, so I'm filming in a different space. I don't know if this space is gonna be where I continue to film. I'm just trying it out um, and trying to figure out what the ring light can do and what it can't. So if this lighting is a little weird, I apologize. I'm figuring it out. But I'm gonna show you guys swatches on my hand as well as on my lips for all of these. I am taking out my lip balm. I'm beginning the process of destroying my lips by trying these on. So, you want to zoom in a little? Um, for the record, my skin is light to medium and it's pretty neutral, but it has a slightly olive yellow undertone. So, that is me. So, I'm going to start with the butter glosses because I think they'll be the easiest to remove. These are both, from what I can tell, um, shades that have been around for a while. But the brightest of the two, actually the lightest of the two is the Angel Food Cake shade. I really like Butter Gloss. It's probably my favorite formula of lip gloss. So that's Angel Food Cake. This is my first time trying most of these on. And that's Angel Food Cake. Next up, we have the Butter Gloss in Strawberry Cheesecake. And this one is a stronger pink color. Oh, that is strawberry cheesecake. So that's it for butter glosses. Let's try the brand new one, which is the NYX Plush Gloss. Now this is a gel lipstick. It comes in a really skinny, tiny package. And this is the color Dime Piece. Smells a little weird. Doesn't smell as pleasant as some of their other ones. So that is the lipstick. The formula is very, like, look, it got all smushy. Yeah, it's definitely a weird gel consistency. It spreads really nicely on the lip. It feels pretty lightweight. This is my very first time ever trying that one. So this is the Plush Gloss in Dime Piece. I'm sorry, the Pl X, the NYX Plush Gel Lipstick in Dime Piece. Okay. I seem to have bought a lot of nudes and pinks. I'm getting ready to change that up. So, now I have the NYX High Voltage. I have four, and the first one I have, two of these I've had for a while, two of these I just got recently. So, this one is in Flutter Kiss. I really enjoy this formula. It's got a nice color payoff and it's very comfortable. So that is Flutter Kiss. And I actually like these small lipsticks. I think they're easier to apply. So yeah, that is Flutter Kiss. Just a nice everyday nude. I think it's a really good color. Now, 
I'm going lightest to darkest. The next one is this color Playdate, which is a little bit different for me. So Playdate is kind of a lavender. There's a swatch of Playdate. Ooh, I'm a little scared this is going to look crazy, but it's really pretty. Whoa. I never wear colors like this, but um, it's kind of cool. I feel like an alien with like the pink hair and everything. So that is Playdate. Okay, the next one is another kind of purpley one. I don't know what I was thinking. This is Twisted. Purple. Oh, but look, it's much warmer. I don't know if you can see that. That is Playdate and that is Twisted. So it's a warmer purple with some pink. And this one might be a little more wearable. I still kind of look like a Star Trek alien, but like it's in a much better way. So that is Twisted. And then that last one of the high voltage I have is in Hollywood, which is a red. It's a beautiful color. I'll put Hollywood up here. So that is Hollywood as a swatch. <laughs> With a no lip liner, this gets a little jinky, but at least you can see the color. So that is Hollywood. So now I've got some kind of cream products. I have two soft matte lip creams and they're really funny because they look like they're pretty much the same color. Um, this is Adis Ababa, which is one of their original colors, I think. And I'll put Adis Ababa right here. So that's Adis Ababa. And that's Adisa Baba on the lips. I love soft matte lip creams and they came out with a few other colors so I bought Paris which is this one. Let's see how similar they really are. So that top one is Adisa Baba and that is Paris. So Paris has a slightly warmer tone. It's less blue undertone, but I don't think you need both of these. I like this one slightly better because I like the name, but here it is. This is Paris. So there we go. I think I will go ahead and do the NYX lingerie lipstick and then I will do the others. Now, one thing I've noticed I feel like NYX's cream lipstick formulas are all pretty similar. Um, like the ones I'm getting ready to do, which are the suede, I feel like they're very similar to the, um, the soft matte. They might just stay on a little better. This is the NYX lingerie lipstick in Bedtime Flirt. I had a really hard time figuring out what color to get in these because they're all so nude and sometimes nudes can be weird. But that's the applicator. It's smaller and longer. This is, let's do a swatch. So this nude has a little bit of a peachy brownish undertone. Wow. This formula is different than the soft matte lip cream. I feel like it's kind of catching on to the lines of my lips a little more than the matte lip creams do. But it feels nice. And it's actually drying down 
to like a stain. And the soft matte lip creams and the suede's never quite dry down. So that's the swatch again. It's on the lips. So this is NYX Lingerie in Bedroom Flirt. It's kind of okay. I like it. It's, it's a nude, but it, it's pretty. It's got a little bit more depth to it. Um, I would definitely recommend these for people who like that. Oh, wow. It's like hard to get off now. If you like that true matte liquid lipstick, you want something that's similar to like, you know, an Anastasia or something like that, then that's the one. This is legit hard to get off. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably like the most long lasting formula. And then I've got three of the liquid suede. So the first and lightest one, which is my favorite, is tea and cookies. And there is tea and cookies, and you see it's much more pink. This one is more like the soft matte lip cream. It doesn't dry down quite as much. And it's a little more comfortable on the lips. I still got some of the stick from that other one on there. But this is tea and cookies. This next one is one I got in my Ipsy bag and I found it to be really crazy, but I'm trying it again. This is Pink Lust, which is a pretty neon hot pink. I'm gonna put that next to the other pinks on here and see. Oh yeah, so that is it next to Paris and Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa, Paris, and then that's Pink Lust. Do you see how that has like more of a neon quality? It's got some white in it, I think. Yeah, like this is pink. Like if you wanna see your lips from outer space, pink, pink lust is the way to go. It's a little strong. It matches my hair really well. I don't know, I like it. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna wear it because it is so cray, but, um, but it's fun. Yeah, he swatches. Okay, and last but certainly not least, I think this is going to be a good fall color for me. This is Cherry Skies. I have red all over my face. All right, so here's the, the Cherry Skies. Just, yeah, vampy red. And let's see how terrible I'll put this on. I usually wear a liner with red. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is jinky as all get out, but is that not the prettiest red ever? So that is Cherry Skies. So there we go. Um, so just some final thoughts for myself. Um, formula wise I really love the butter gloss and I feel like if you need a lip gloss from the drugstore there is still nothing better I do not like the intense butter glosses as much as the original these really are where it's at they, they're soft they stay on a long time they smell delicious um, can't say anything but nice things about them this new plush formula is a little weird um, I like it I like the consistency I don't like the smell. It smells slightly chemically, which is not very common to NYX. I would definitely try this in another shade and see, just because I felt like the this color maybe wasn't the absolute best, but I liked the feel. So I'll definitely wear that and try it some more. Soft matte lip creams are some of my favorites. 
And if you like those, you'll probably like the liquid suede. They're just maybe a step up in quality for staying power, but aside from that, they're fantastic. And the lip suede's come in, um, and the soft matte lip creams come in a million colors. Um, the lingerie lipstick is a true liquid lipstick. If that's what you are looking for, this is where to go. They're beautiful. The one I tried on was lovely. It's a nice nude. Um, it's real sticky, like until it dries down, but then I think it would dry down and be like crazy matte, which is not really my thing. So I like these. I probably wouldn't get another one of these, but I will wear it. And then finally, my, um, my high voltage. I feel like they're the best of both worlds because you get the feeling of the lipstick, but you get a little bit more lasting power and pigmentation than a standardized lipstick. So it's just a nice compromise. So that is my opinions. That is my feelings on the NYX stuff that I have tried. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little swatch fest here. Maybe you found colors that you like. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.